Hi. So. Let me be honest with y'all for something. So a lot of you are going to think that this is probably just some bull crap or something. But I'm genuinely acting as a parent, sitting my children down, and about to tell them the story about the birds and bees. I'm talking some serious next level conversation shit that I feel I should get off my chest now. Why is this leaning? Uh, I, I saw the camera leaning for a second. Not that it's important. <sighs> Alright, so... <laughs> and I keep fucking with the camera. I'm sorry. My bad. I keep fucking with the camera. <sighs> Alright, so what I... I didn't come here to tell you about some fucking camera or why I'm fucking with it. No. I... I want to just you guys down and tell you that you're going to see a couple more videos where hopefully I'm a lot better than I think I'm really doing, but I need to tell you all something. I know I'm kind of beating around the bush a little bit, but no, I'm going to get straight to it this time. I don't feel like I'm the same person I used to be. Now, let me briefly go to my channel. There's a playlist on there that I've recently been working on more. And now I've got my girlfriend helping me on. Just a little bit because she does know me better than I know myself. Which, that's another thing I just want to talk about real quick. And I'm letting you see only camera. As for right now, anyway. I just want to sit there and say, like, <sighs> I don't feel like I know myself anymore. Let me elaborate a little bit. And I'll start with these this playlist I'm talking about, if I can find it for a minute. This will probably be the only part that gets cut. Okay, never mind. I was going to say this will be the only part that gets cut and edited, because I probably can't find the freaking thing, but I found it. And here, let me get camera switching over really quick. Stop the board. Transition that shit. Oh, I felt, oh, still got ace missed. Uh, pardon me. Okay, Ace Mips loaded up on there. <laughs> Alright, so now you see me. Hi, how you doing? I made... Sorry, anyway. No, I just wanted to say how I made this playlist. Oh yeah, wh why is there a lot of Roblox in here? It's because... Let me just explain. Let me just explain. I know some of you have a lot of comments and questions right now up to this point and a lot of confusion I hope that I can answer some of them. So this entire playlist that I'm going through with you right now, and you can just see a bunch of like, a bunch of like older, I was like oh why is there some older stuff in here? It's because in these videos, I was showing my real self. The real side of me. I was showing my genuine comedy and my personality, and I don't feel like I do that anymore. I really don't like even this video alone. Just doing this video with one of my friends that I no longer really have contact with. Hey guys, it's here with another video. Ow, Today we are doing something very special. Heist. Sorry, Say hello, right. my live, my uh, lovely assistant. Thank you for talking. Nice, nice chit chat. Not, not so I much at that part. To yourself. To the lovely subscribers. My junior pilots. Lord. 
Uh, even I think this was one of my first hey guys, proper <laughs> unboxings. We are here with a live stream. That's right. Because I have been away from unboxings for a little bit. No, it was streamed. That's why I did that. And I've also been away from the camera for a little bit, so it's been like. Here, my girlfriend put him in best. Hold on. Pick a fucking in country. What? In what country? Doing that, so it's my fucking video. <laughs> What you doing? You're damaging doing that. What? What's he doing? Shoot you out the window? Come on. I'm trying to find so one of them. I'm sorry this is taking a while. The little, the little thing even gives you an indication that, you know, it's fire started. Um, oh, I think that's what might be... I have my little tribute video to... Hey guys, it's here with another video. And today, I'm here playing Gary's Mod. Prop Hunt. Sounds like it. So, anyway. Ah, laggy. Alright. So, if you saw in the beginning, you would see this is a dedication to C Nanners, one of my favorite YouTubers who doesn't seem to be uploading anymore. Nah, he, he got back into it. This is an old video. He got back into uploading, and I'm I'm happy about it. Cause he had he just claimed that he had a lot of things going on. I got it. That's another story. I got it. It's like, okay, well this is taking too long, but you guys get the gist, you know. All right, you get the gist of what I'm trying to say. I used to have more fun with these videos. And in a real life level, I used to be feeling more like myself. Like, I, I used to not be so anxious about a lot of things. I, well, I mean, I was, but, you know, not as bad. Um, there was a lot of things I, you know, looked over and just saw as, like, a funny joke. Kind of like, you know, how Deadpool would all the time and how he would always joke around about every serious situation like it, it's a good thing because if you don't laugh in life if you don't want to laugh at stupid stuff you prevent yourself from being happy and like I realize this now through all of that I realize this and <sighs> it's just I think I need some time to reflect so after this video you know you'll see a couple more videos throughout the schedule of time I'm finally going to get around to that what happened to my PS4 video that I've been like kind of hinting at a little bit um, you know things will things will look like they're going as normal and I'm still uploading regularly but really I'm getting those videos out of the way and I'm taking a break from YouTube that's what I'm trying to say I'm taking a break from YouTube and some social media and, and just I'm taking a break from a lot of things so I can really reflect back on my life because there's this question that I've been thinking of and my girlfriend and I really recently discovered over and that is why am I so negative all the time recently why why am I so stressed about some things why why am I acting the way I am it's it's this whole list of things I just have so many questions about anymore and I'm honestly scared that I can't get back to my old self anymore fortunately in the past you know like within 20 minutes so something like that me and my girlfriend discovered that I can occasionally get back to that said point where I'm being myself I'm not worrying about anything I don't have any negativity in my mind and I think I really just need to establish a set schedule at least for now that's going to get me back on track with my sleep even a little bit back on track with 
my thinking, my mentality not get me so like anxious and negative all the time. I keep having speculations like the beginning of COVID fucked it up. But I think during lockdown and even sometimes here and there, my girlfriend has noticed I have went back to those times. Because if you go back to some of my older live streams, you'll see that she commented on all those videos and those are the videos that she genuinely enjoys. I mean, not that, like, she's not always giving me support, because damn, she really is. She's so supportive, despite having her own problems. That's a whole nother loophole. <sighs> but I just feel like... I should be better. I feel like the path I'm going down right now, I'm not doing good on. I'm not happy on. I'm not giving as much positivity as I would like to. I'm not being as productive at work anymore because I'm always feeling so down, which admittedly work could probably be a little bit of the reason why I'm always so negative because it always just constantly seems like I'm in the same loophole with it and I'm trying to wait till after COVID to get another job and like it's just such such a hard stress with all this nonsense and I, I just I just am in the state where I just want to cut out anything from my life that even so much just seems like a little bit of a problem. But I don't want to do that because it's just so toxic and there's a lot of things that I only have a small problem with. And it can be solved with the like the simplest answers and I just want time to find those answers. You know, I'm, I'm going to definitely start my little routine after all those videos goes up. And, you know, after all that gets done, which I think tonight, I might, you know, after I get this video uploaded, I'm going to start working on that, what happened to my PS4 video, and really start to crack down on some things after that, why, why my life is just feeling this way right now, why, why I make myself feel so stressed out, and I really need to go on a thought journey of sorts and really think about why I'm thinking this way. Why I'm thinking so negatively. Negatively? No. Negatively. And why I'm not make, letting myself enjoy the simpler things in my life. Like I recently got back to my Legos and I have been enjoying those they've been a nice coping mechanism for me and so has I recently made out made that um that workout not playlist album that workout album over my dead base channel and I feel like that's gonna help me get back into working out or just give me something nice to listen to and make me feel confident because it's like hey I made this like I think I'm talking about it now sorry my chair so creepy it's a pretty old chair <laughs> But, I feel like I've just about got down the pack how to channel my anger and how to channel my stress into something creative. But I have, I, this is the Jasper from that last Roblox video. He's like, fuck me down, Omen, if I take over the world. No, I think... Sorry, buddy. Cats can natural animals can naturally pick up when you're stressed. So I think that's what he's doing right now, right? Yeah. <laughs> there he goes nothing got me. But I think I just want to clarify that I'm going away for a while from the channel. You know, you're not gonna notice it at first because there's probably a good I think a month still of content to be uploaded. Put that down. Put that no. Put that down. That's bad for you. You're gonna hack it up later. Fuck it. I'll get it out later. Anyway. <sighs> but I just think that I need to take time away from YouTube. Like I said, it's not gonna be noticeable at first because I have a set number of videos for about a month to go up. So it's not gonna be noticeable. 
unless you've seen this video, then you'll know. And after that, I'm just going to be taking quite a long time away to self-reflect and get a better understanding of my life and where it is now. Because I think there's a lot of things that I'm worrying about that I really shouldn't be worrying about right now. And I think in a sense that's causing a big problem that it shouldn't. And it's really making myself feel like I'm putting myself down for things that I should. And I'm making things worse than they need to be and just worrying about things I don't need to and it's a problem and I just need to get this anxiousness out of the way. There are some things that could be my ADHD and I just can't help it. But AD, my ADHD, because there are di like different forms where there's like, you have ones that aren't so bad and there are ones that are like so out of control, like you need meds guaranteed. I tried meds before. I don't feel like they were exactly helping me much. And instead they just give me like all kinds of jitters and stuff. So I didn't really, I don't think my ADHD is that bad. That being said, I think I can manage. Let me catch my drift. I, I can manage to control my ADHD enough and distract it where I can put it to rest. Just like with any other things I may be stressing out about or that I feel I need to really start letting go of. And also, like I said, I haven't really been having the best sleep lately. Need to start catching up on that again. Um, I have done it for a couple days now, but otherwise I feel like I just need to start catching up on that more and get back on track with my life, get a regular set schedule, maybe start taking showers at night, and that's more like and start brushing my teeth because I'm I've been very unhygienic. I'll admit. My room looks like a mess. My teeth, I'm sure, look like almost just as much of a mess. And, like, you see my hair. I haven't had the chance to get my hair cut. <laughs> I've been kind of letting it grow a little bit. Like, I don't mind longer hair, but it's not... I don't feel like it's my cup of tea. Not really. <laughs> I feel like I suit, like, buzz cut, but you know, that's not to get distracted. Right. So somewhere of what's going to be going on, I'm sorry if this is becoming a little bit of a long one, I'm trying to get this done as much as I can. I don't want to leave the channel for a while, you must understand. I do love doing these videos and I do see some of my videos being a coping mechanism. But I want to look beyond that and I want them to be more than that I want to go into each and every single one of these videos and just have as much fun with them as I feel some of you are having with them at least some of you I don't give myself that much credit that's another thing my self confidence I'm going to try and reflect on who am I yeah, don't, don't be confused. That's that's why this video is called that. Who am I? I want to know who I really am. I need to look further into myself. I've never cared about labeling before. I've never cared about what other people thought. Well, I mean, I have for a long time. Let me not lie about that. That's why I got bullied a lot and let it get to me. And then I decided after that, I'd say, no, fuck it. I want to be myself. Uh, I don't care what nobody says. I'm going to be myself and I'm going to love life. I was but not anymore I think it's gotten to the point where it's not healthy anymore it's just not and I think I really need to reflect on myself more and start thinking about who it is I exactly am and how to stay at that point. How to get myself in a mindset all the time 
where I can stay in that point constantly. Because I feel like sometimes my mentality shifts to what I've always known. Be who others want you to be. You know, who, who others, like, crit what crit people criticize you for, okay, change a little bit, even a little bit, to make them happy, and then see it as a good thing. Can't do that. There are a lot of things that I think I've been doing wrong to change myself to be like others. Like, I know for the longest time, I loved listening to, like, rock music and hard metal and, and like heavy metal and stuff like that and it's great it's great to have like you know not every day every day kind of thing is like just make a long chilled out playlist to soothe anything but also just listen to whatever I want because some, some days I get in the mood to listen to something more chill there are those kind of days where I want to listen to like orchestra type music where it's more like soothing to hear the instruments there's you know my type of music on my channel where I have like just bumping like oh I want to party all the time like that's honestly one of my favorite types I always tell people all the time I see myself in the music world having two heads I've got my bass head and I've got my metal head I've always said that's what kind of like person I am music wise and I feel like I really need to embrace that more and I need to make myself come out of my own shell and start being more upfront with people like, hey, yo, this is the kind of person I am. You're not changing that. This is the kind of thing I want to do. You can't change that. No matter how much you want me to otherwise. I just feel like there's a lot of things about me that people don't seem to realize is fact or fiction. I said a long time ago on this channel, I'm not kind of, and that's where I'm going to be. I think I'm going to celebrate whenever I do come back to the channel. I'm going to be coming back with a new intro, a new outro. You know, both are really solid. I'm going to be coming in with a new channel trailer because I like the old one, but it's getting a bit outdated because, you know, I've got a new place now. I've got my own little, like, inner sanctum where I could just be myself which that's another thing I gotta embrace the fact that I'm I, again I gotta embrace the fact that I'm a bit of an introvert and I don't really like I am sociable you know I don't want to get that I don't want to get that crooked I'm a very sociable person when it comes to like I get into my conversations but I need a reason to talk to people I feel like I need a reason to really like have conversations with people and that's where I feel like I'm always crossing the line because at my workplace there's always like things that need to be talked about or I need to get something done or you know customers are trying to talk to me just stuff like that and I feel like I could work on that better I feel like I could make myself less of an introvert I can be more comfortable with who I am enough to come out of my shell and I need to just the whole point of this video is I, I want to know who I am I want to rediscover for myself who I am I used to confuse myself like I used to be one of those people you know which was my own hypocrite I hate hypocrites by the way so a lot of self-hatred built up where I've got First I thought, I, first I thought myself to be completely straight. Then I thought, oh well, maybe I'm, I'm bi, and then I'm like, oh, I'm, I could be pan. And I'm just like, at the end of the day, I'm a straight guy that likes to have fun. <laughs> that kind, of, that that kind of thing. Okay, you probably didn't need to hear that. That's probably TMI, but you know what I'm saying. I want to look for my identity. I've always copied what other people do and I think my Spotify playlist that's like what was it something like um like ace playlist or 
alpha playlist or something like that. I don't know. I'm the alpha of my own wolf pack. That's why I was, I ever had it like that. But that's another thing I discovered long ago. I thought I was meant to follow others, and maybe that's true in some cases when I don't exactly know things. But otherwise, it's yeah, album alpha. So my album alpha playlist, I'm gonna be also probably tweaking around a little bit and editing it so it speaks more me. It, it says all the things I really like and I'm, you know, it says everything about me. Because I feel like there's a lot of songs in there right now that just like, they don't speak to me as much anymore. But yeah, that's, I'm not going to make this video any longer than it has to be. Um, so yeah, just so you know, just a recap, not like I've said, not said it a thousand times, but I'm going to be going away for a little bit after these couple of videos get up, you know, from the channel. I'm, you know, I'm still going to be here, my girlfriend's still going to be able to talk to me, I might be on social media every so often and inter in socializing with people over there, you know, stuff like that, but um, I'm going to come back with a new face, especially to the channel a new face for me and really start to identify more who I am because I feel like there's also a lot of things on YouTube I'm starting to censor more and I shouldn't because that's not me I am very like out there I'm I don't think about what I say sometimes and that's part of the problem really but it's just, there's a lot of things I need to figure out about myself. I just want to find myself. I want to take time to find myself. Because there was this quote that I've heard on Walking Dead a long time ago. That I feel is true for me. You lose your people and then you lose yourself. I genuinely feel like I haven't quite been the same since high school. Where, you know, all of my people sort of were. Or all of my like biggest supporters and friends were where <clears throat> all of that sort of was and I haven't been the same since then for that reason but I do have to realize life still goes on I'm still living my life <clears throat> and now time of like everyone else is supporting me is done and I gotta worry about supporting myself more and just getting that really established but yeah without further ado like I said, not gonna make this any longer. I'm sorry I took up so much of your time, but I wanted to make it very, very clear for the last time, I promise, that after these like three or four videos, I keep forgetting how much is gonna be uploaded that you're gonna be seeing. You're gonna stop seeing videos for a while. I don't know how long this is gonna be. It could be a couple months, hell, maybe a couple weeks, I mean, there are some things I had figured out a couple weeks by me. This is this has been taking me years to try and figure out, and that's only because I've been trying to figure it out, but also not giving it my all. I haven't been doing my best. That's a I have been trying, not to say try. I've been really aiming to do my best for things. I've been making myself do a lot of things that I don't think. I would have normally wanted to have ambition for because there are some things where I can't adapt so much to change but I do become very adept to the change after I've adapted to it with that being said I hope you enjoyed the video like if you did subscribe if you know you really love my content ring that bell icon if you really love this content and you want to know when I do my videos again because uh, or when I go live because there are going to be some times where I'm going to genuinely sit down have the time to do it and I'll say you know what I think I want to live stream you know what I think I want to do a podcast like there's going to be times when I'm offering for myself to do some of these things and I do give you content ever so often, but it's not going to be as much. It's definitely not going to be as much content anymore. I've built this channel up too much on who I am. And I think I need to reflect on some of that, look back on some of it. And 
see who I really am. Because I try not to be one of those people that just looks at their own content. But it's gotten harder for me because I genuinely believe looking back on my own content is how I'm going to rediscover myself. Find out the kind of person I've been. You know, start watching my old live streams. Watching my old, like, done up mod movies. Some of my old videos in general. Just looking at all of that and finding me again. Uh, that being said, um, see you guys in the next videos. And after that, I'll be back as soon as I can. And love you all. Hopefully, during then, we won't still be doing COVID. A little side joke there to get back into things. And I won't have to say this anymore. Still COVID, so please, for your safety, stay off the airlines. Junior. Pilots.